BYU versus Utah. More like a civil war than a rivalry. The battles date back to 1922. Utah holds a commanding lead in the series, but BYU's won the last 19 of 21, including a snowball-infested skirmish last year in Salt Lake City that sent BYU to the Aloha Bowl and Utah to the Copper Bowl. Today, the two rivals may be the most evenly matched in recent history. Both squads feature high-powered offenses led by record-setting trigger men. For BYU, John Walsh and his crack receiving corps are second in the nation in aerial attacks. For Utah, junior Mike McCoy is coming out two straight 400-yard passing performances. But both sides are hampered by casualties in the defensive ranks that could prove to be the key to victory. Utah has been forced to place offensive players into a makeshift defensive secondary led by Keith K. Dub Williams. The Cougars received an emotional lift last week when linebacker Nathan Hall returned to active duty. The battle is at hand. Everything's at stake. Bragging rights, the beehive boot, bowl bids, and a whack title for the Cougars. It's BYU and Utah. The Civil War is about to begin again. Both teams like to throw the football led by these two quarterbacks. All right, McCoy and Walsh are uh, two and four in the nation total offense. Talk about McCoy first. He was great against the Air Force Academy last week. We did that ball game. McCoy was named the Sports Illustrated Player of the Week. He can throw the long ball, as can John Walsh. Both these guys can throw deep in the line all year long, both sides of the ball. Yet there's a couple of players that can play. Ellis can play. Gomes can play. They might end up playing professionally one day. I honestly believe, Jay, that the game will be decided by turnovers probably in the fourth quarter. And how about the running game? Let's check with Holly Rowe. Holly? Guys, today's game won't be just a passing fancy. The ground game played a big part in last year's win up at Utah. Jamal Willis had over 148 yards to put him over 1,000 for the season. But it's a different Jamal who could be the factor today. Two men back deep for Utah. Here is the kick. University of Utah with the ball coming back up the far sidelines, knocked out of bounds about the 33-yard line as we have the first offensive series of the game, and they'll run it off the right side. That's Jamal Anderson, and he advances it to the 40 as they bring a motion in. Man to the left. Here's McCoy to throw for the first time. Completes it to Rowley. Rowley spins inside, is dropped after a gain of four yards. And one setback. Two men wide to the right, two to the left. Here's McCoy to throw. Pressure. Flips it downfield, completes it to Jones. He's to the 40, to the 30, down the far sidelines to the 20, and knocked down at the five-yard line. Just a little safety valve pass. Casey Mazzotta. They stay set and do it right. Second and goal from the four. McCoy will throw for it. Does, and it is a touchdown. It's a touchdown to Rowley. Here's John Walsh. Walsh, that is, who'll be starting at quarterback for the Cougars. He's been sensational lately. Empey, Edwards, Simmons, Pilgrim, and Herring. Second down, about 14 for BYU from the 22. Fakes a draw. Scrambling to his right. Throws it. And nice catch at the 32-yard line by Nowatsky for BYU. Look at this effort. Walsh gets flush. They had a twist on up front. BYU blocks it. Here's the flush. And uh, I'll tell you what, running to your left, you reach back and catch it with one hand, not bad. Third and four for the Cougars of BYU from their own 32. They trail already 7 0 in this game. Christensen comes in motion. Here's a quick pass. It's complete for the first down. And he slips a tackle down the sidelines, out of bounds at the 45 yard line. Cougars with split backs this time. Fakes a draw. Here's the pass. It's complete to the 45, to the 40, and out of bounds on the Utah 38-yard line is Steve Christensen, and here's a first down play for the BYU team. Been all passes so far. Walsh, with a lot of time, swings it over the right. It's caught by Christensen. He eludes one man, runs it to the 30, out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Christensen, who had a BYU on the Utah 24-yard line. Walsh straight back to throw, does throw, completes it on the sidelines. Tim Nowatsky's out of bounds on the 16. Christensen comes slowly in motion. Walsh looks to pass for it. It's caught. It might be a touchdown. No, they stop him at the two. Salone, the tight end, made a fine catch. Man to the left side. And he goes in motion to the left. And a quick pass that way is caught, but he's short of the goal line. Matsuzaki caught the pass. It was in back of him. And they'll run it with Kalen Hall. Can he get outside? He's trying. Nope. They cut him back in and knock him down around the two-yard line. They went wide, and Utah stayed with him and stopped him. Split backs. He sends a motion man to the left side. 
fakes a handoff. They're in his face. He's scrambling, and they will sack him all the way back at the 20. So, so the BYU it. team does not get a score out of it. Well, we got a flag at the three-yard line. Well, inside the one. Here we go. On the offense, two men in motion. Penalty is refused. Fourth down. Here's the kick. He's got the distance. And he's got the field goal. So Herrick kicks it through there. Here it goes. Second and ten. They had three men wide to the right. He comes up in the pocket, puts it in the middle of the field, and he's got the man there all the way to the 45-yard line. That's Here's McCoy to pass. Pressure up the middle. They hit him this time. He eludes a couple, but can't get by the last one. That's Jack to now penalty. a flag goes down. He threw it at alignment. That's what the flag is for. Comes from the uh, line judge. Roy. Third down. McCoy has the snap. Pressure into the middle of the field. It's caught once again. Same play. And all the way to the 40, the 38-yard line of BYU. Number three. McCoy, they'll run it this time. Nothing doing. BYU just waiting for the call. And Anderson, McCoy with one setback, wants to throw again. Fakes once, now does throw. It's caught on the sidelines to the 30, all the way to the BYU 25-yard line. Motion man to the left side. Running play to Anderson. The big guy's got some room this time. He's all the way to the 14, maybe the 13-yard line. McCoy gives to Anderson. Anderson skirts to the outside, breaks one tackle, knocked down at the nine-yard line. McCoy to throw in second down. Right into the middle of the field, it'll be a touchdown. That's the place it's open. Anderson caught it, and Utah's got its second score of the game. Utah has the lead over Brigham Young by a score of 14 to three with four and a half to go in the first quarter. He is not one against uh, Lavelle Edwards. Here's the kickoff. It'll bounce. Is picked up at the 14-yard line, out to the 20-yard line, to the 25, to the 30, and knocked out of bounds up around the 38-yard line is Tim Nowatsky. Again, it was the short kick inside the one-yard line. Had to go for a field goal. Here's Walsh to throw. The pressure's on. He loses one tackler, but then is hit at the 35-yard line. So BYU. Here's Walsh out of the shotgun. Line of scrimmage to 31. He's got it. Into the middle of the field. Cut. At the 50, Nowatsky gets away to the 42-yard line. So Tim Nowatsky right smack in the middle of the field. Walsh with the football. Has some time, throws. Incomplete this time. Salamone had to go through his hands. He'll come into your picture right there, and he's open. And, and Walsh back to pass. Does pass. It's a great pick. Yeah, picked off down at the 25-yard line. Looked like Nowatsky was knocked down as he went for the ball, however, but there's no flag. It's his second interception. Watch Nowatsky on this, however. See, Nowatsky yeah, he does get down. knocked down. Lusk with the pick. Here's the point of pass. Does shoot it downfield, completes it, and he'll have the first down yardage to about the 34 yard line. Here's the snap. A quick uh, flip. It's caught at the 30 yard line. They're going to throw it again. Here's the pass downfield, and it is. It's. Dropped. He simply dropped it at the 26 yard. Three men wide to the right again. McCoy back to pass again. Fires it downfield and it'll be intercepted by DeMooney. DeMooney is knocked down at the 34 yard line. I didn't see a Utah player around the ball, but DeMooney. Here's Walsh back to pass. It's complete to Haymooley. Slips by one man and then is knocked out of bounds. They gang up on him about the 45 yard line. Got the snap. Got the time. Completes it to the Utah 34-yard line. Walsh fakes a handoff, rolls to his right, sets up, throws, completes it in the middle of the field for the 20. Down to the 17-yard line is Lewis, the freshman tight end. Chad Lewis put a pretty good pressure on the defensive line, from the defensive line. The rush is on this time. The pass is caught in the middle of the field, and he's knocked down. His forward uh, progress will be about the 11. So the first quarter draws to a conclusion. And after one quarter of play, the University of Utah beating Brigham Young University by a score of 14 to 3. This is the Blue and White Sports Network. And the Cougars are going to go for it. They're not going for the field goal. They have fourth and four 
on the Utah 10 yard line as they huddle up. Provo College is a center for professional studies. And they split two men wide to the left. Walsh wants the crowd to be quiet for his uh, cadence. <laughs> Here comes Christensen in motion. Walsh with the football. Looking, looking, throws, completes it. Completes it to the four yard line. That'll be enough for the first down to Matsuzaki. Set up. The two men split to the left. They're going to throw. Walsh does throw. Touchdown! Great catch in the end zone by Doman for a score. Kicks this one high and down to about the three yard line where it's taken there by Williams. Back up the sidelines. Finally knocked off his feet. Well, all the way up to the 35 yard line. That's a pretty good return. And McCoy gives to Anderson. Anderson breaks by one man. He's still on his feet. He's all the way to the 44 yard line. That's a gain of about 12, maybe 13 yards. Four points. Here's McCoy to pass. Has some time now scrambling into the middle field. It's complete. All the way to the 30. Gets wide to the outside. There's that speed. Knocked out of bounds at the 20. Great effort by Greg Hooks after he caught the ball. McCoy to pass. Throws into the end zone and it is knocked away. Great defensive play by Jack DeMooney. He saved a score that time. It's placed down. And he gets the kick away and he misses it. It's off to the right. You got a straight on guy. You may not have the range, but you know what you get. Okay, Cougars first and 10 from the 20. Walsh throws right away, completes it. Up to the 40-yard line and bumped out of bounds right there is Tyler Anderson. Both with minor injuries. They could play if they need them today, but they haven't used them so far. Here's Walsh, a quick one. Diving catch at the 45-yard line by Steve Christensen. That'll be a gain of four. Line for BYU. Walsh back to throw. Here's the pass. It's complete. Complete to the Utah 45-yard line for a first down. Yes, sir. You got it. Holding on the offense. The right one in the slot on the left. And Walsh will roll out to his left, trying to buy some time. Sets up, throws deep, and it is intercepted at the 45-yard line of BYU. Picked off this time by, is it Boyd? Ernest Boyd. Ernest yeah. Boyd. Standing long jump. Watch this. Guy with a 33-inch vertical leap. Just plays good position. Walsh lets it go. And uh, that's the way to play the zone. Well done by uh, Ernest Boyd. In four points. McCoy, there's a pitch to Anderson coming wide to the right side. Tries to ball it up over one would be tackler. Does. Here's McCoy, fakes the handoff, throws, completes it on the right flat. It's advanced to the 50. There's a flag down. He's knocked out of bounds at the 37 yard line. Completed to Glenn Hooks. Robic fitness Holding machine. on the offense. Seven wins. Shotgun. McCoy. McCoy to the middle of the field completes it to the BYU 47 yard line for a first down. Brings a man of motion to the right side. Hands it off to Anderson. Anderson, a big hole into the secondary. All the way to the 30. All the way to the 25 and bumped out of bounds to the 22 yard line. Jamal Anderson, he's a handful. Here's McCoy. They go to Anderson again. And once again, he picks up good yardage. He's inside the 20. We had movement on the line. We've got to see which way it goes. If it's against BYU. Well, it should be. Offsides on the defense. Killing Ohio State, 28 nothing. Holly will have all the scores at halftime. My mistake, that was not quite enough for the first down. So it's fourth and less than a yard. And BYU may have stopped him. They gave it to Anderson. They didn't get it. So first of all, let me back up. It was my mistake. The yardage did not give them a first down, but it made it fourth and a half yard. And they stopped Anderson dead, led by Travis Hall. And Corey Cook. And here's a second and ten call. Walsh into the middle, completes it to Christensen. He pulled away from one would-be tackler. And then is finally knocked out of bounds at about the 23-yard line. Has the snap. Has the time. Throws, completes it to the 40-yard line and tackled immediately. Here's McCoy to pass. Does pass. Completes it. But I will, it'll depend on the spot. I think they have the first down. Well, Just did. barely. Threw it to Claiborne. Here's McCoy. Fakes a handoff. Back to pass. Sets up. Completes it. In the middle of the field. Completes it to Rowley. 
really knocked down hard at the 22 yard line by second and 10. McCoy from the shotgun fires quickly, completes it to the 13 yard line. Not enough for the first. Time. Third and two for the Utes. They'll run it with Pierre Jones. He dances to the outside. He might score. He fumbles the ball while I, the ground caused the fumble, but he's all the way to the two, but there's also a flag down. Holy on the offense. Here's the kick. Looks like he's got the yardage needed, and he's got the field goal. Welcome. You take a look at the uh, 18 consecutive times they've thrown it. Now they're changing the line of scrimmage. They have it on their own 20 then, and Walsh will throw, and he does throw, and he completes it to Salaone, the tight end. A seven yard, maybe an eight yard gain where he's knocked out of bounds on the UIU. Out of the shotgun, here's Walsh on third down. Has some time. Here's the pass. I think it's a completion. It is. Nice grab on the sidelines. He was hit and knocked into the Utah bench. Decada. This is good uh, body language by Walsh. Looks left, comes back, throws to his right. That's a nice little effort because Swanson got is. the put down. Very good, yeah. For BYU. As Walsh will pass again. Fakes once. Bumped out of the pocket, rolls to his right. He loses a tackler, throws, completes it to Hay Mooley. Hey, Mooley's down at the 38 yard line. That was a great effort by first down. McCoy back to pass on first down. Completes it. Completes it to the 37 yard line. Here's McCoy back to pass. Chased out of the pocket. Scrambling. They get him this time. They drop him at the 30 yard line. And it's Todd Herget for BYU. Got it away. Left footed kicker. Hits it high. Johnson is chased back to the 15 yard line. Gets it there, comes right up the middle of the field, finds some room to the 35, to the 40, to the 45, to the 48 yard line. Nice return by the league this year. First at the 10, Cougars from their own 47. Rolling to the left is Walsh, and they will sack him this time. He's sacked back at the 35 yard line. They tried to roll him out with a shotgun now from the 33 into the middle of the field. Incomplete. Catchable ball, but he missed it. Nowatsky. Cougar offense struggling here in the second quarter. Walsh steps up, throws downfield, intercepted at the 45, back to the 50, and down at the BYU 43-yard line as Walsh overthrew his man, 42-yard line. McCoy straight back to throw. Throws into the middle of the field, completes it. Completes it to the BYU 40-yard line. That's a first down throw. Here's McCoy to throw. Swings it over to the right. It's cut. He's to the 40 and pulled down at the 37 yard line. Pierre Jones coming out of the backfield. Here's the snap. Pressure from the Cougars up front. Throws, completes it with three BYU players around him. He caught it. He's to the BYU 20 yard line. Nice catch. This is what you run against man. Well done. They actually had man under that time and still able to complete it. First down. 170 <laughs> yards in the first half. Well, he was close to 500 last week. He has improved considerably from the start of the yeah, year. He has. Become a, good, a real team leader. Yeah. Good story. Long Beach drops the sport. He's playing for the late George Allen. First down. He's going to throw. Hit. Fumbles the football. And BYU's got it. McCoy was hit from behind, at least I think BYU has it. They do. The Cougars have the football. At the top of the show, Jay, the turnovers would decide this game. It always happens when you have a rivalry like this. So Here's Brock the hit. Him. Yeah, there is Brock. Falls on the ground, and Nash the ball, the scrambles after it, so BYU ball, dodges a bullet. Scary for him. Uh, you're never out of it, I repeat, if, if uh, you're going against, uh, or, or if you're BYU because of the ability to score quickly. But Utah has taken it to him in the first half, led by McCoy, and they only have seven points uh, to the advantage for their showing. Second and 10 for the Cougars. They'll run it this time. That's Hay Mooley right up the middle, breaks up to the 44-yard uh, line, knocked down, it'll be a first down. First down. Walsh from the shotgun. Back to throw. Does throw. Completes it. Nope, he dropped it. Tyner Anderson. The last play of the first half. Ball steps up in the pocket, and they sack it. He stepped up trying to get room to get it away and couldn't, and the Utah team just swarmed all over him. So we have one half in the books. After one half of play, 
University of Utah surprisingly leading Brigham Young by a score of 17 to 10. Straight down the field this time. Tyler Anderson takes it right at the goal line. Picks up 10 yards, picks up 15, picks up 20. Down the sidelines, can he stay in bounds? Oh, they knock him out around the 31-yard line. Pretty good return by Tyler Anderson. Sharper performances of the year. First and 10 BYU, the quick pitch to the outside to Kaden Hall to get him around the corner. Cuts back in the middle of the field and is knocked down at the 39-yard line. Nice run by Kaden Hall. I've heard the name of Penn State kicked around as one of the favorites. Well, that is one of our uh, main teams we're looking at. But Ohio State got beat today in the Big Ten, so that makes us. Kaden and Hall. Here's Walsh to throw, quick pass. It's caught by Doman. Doman down the sidelines, knocked out of bounds around the 37-yard line on a first down play. It's the quick toss to Hall, going wide to the right side, cuts inside his blockers into the middle of the field. There he goes! He's down to the 15, he's down to the 10, he's at the two-yard line. Great run by Hall as he swept to the right and cut back against the grain. They'll run it, that's Hay Mooley. Hay Mooley runs it down to close to the one-yard line. On the slant off There's to the left fumble. side. Is there a fumble? It looks like it. And the University of Utah has stopped them. How about that? What an opportunistic team this Utah team is today to tie it up. Well, let's give credit to who makes the play here. Here's a shot in the line. I tell you, it's yanked loose by uh, the outside guy. I want to say Swanson. McCoy will throw for it. The pressure's on. He'll run it himself. And can they stop him short? I don't think so. I think he got it. Kicker. Johnston will take it at the 43-yard line. Into the middle of the field. Has some room. He's got some blocking out in front. Turns the corner to the 40. And down at the 38-yard line. Colorado State leads 14 and nothing. Got a great reaction from the crowd. Here's Walsh to pass. Chased out of the pocket. Sets up. Gets it away. Completes it. And it goes rolling by a fumble, but a BYU will keep it. Salah only caught it. He fumbled it, and Tyler Anderson, it rolled right to him. Again, a motion on the left side. Here's Walsh, fakes the draw. He's back to pass, rolling to his right. May run it. He will run it. Knocked out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Walsh with the ball. Looks it over, throws it. It's cut. Down to the 20. Down to the 15. Cuts in the middle of the field of the 10, or back towards the middle of the field. Down at the five-yard line is Tim Nowatsky. It's in motion. I'll try and get it in there with the quarterback. And again, he did. He scores. And BYU to within one point as John Walsh sneaks it in there. BYU ties the score 17-17. This is the Blue and White Sports Network. McCoy with the ball looking to throw. Pressure's there, and he runs it and slides down to the turf at the 34. Fakes the handoff back to pass. Being chased by the Cougar defenders. He'll roll around to the right side. He'll run it all the way to 40 to the 45 and knocked out of bounds at the BYU 47-yard line. Right there. And then I thought he was going to cut back in the middle of the field. Instead, there's a pretty good hit. He puts his head down. Now, I don't understand that because your quarterback... Reverse. Yep, here's the reverse. Cougars have, they're going to throw off of it. He's hit as he throws it, and it is caught. They got it away and completed it to the 20-yard line. They made it work in the third quarter. They'll run with Anderson. Anderson breaks it into the middle and gets inside the 15-yard line. Olympic fitness machine. Utah is second and five. It's a pitch to the outside, a double pitch, and the Cougars drop him for a five-yard loss this time. Here's McCoy. Cougars coming after him. The pocket collapses a bit. Can they get him? He floats one for the end zone. Threw it out of the end zone. He just threw that away. 37-yard field goal attempt. He's got it down. And he's got the kick up there, and he missed it. It's off to the left, and it's no good. They'll run it on first down. That's Hay Mooley. Hay Mooley's got six yards, shooting right through the middle. And in motion is Nowatsky. And Walsh is back to pass. A lot of time this time. Right over the middle, caught by Hay Mooley. Hay Mooley eludes one would-be tackler and is banged to the turf hard at the 38-yard line. Crowd getting with things. Walsh back to throw. The rush is on. 
Gets the pass off. Completes it. Completes it to the 49-yard line to Bryce Doman for a first down. And Duber split their backs. First down at their own 49. Lost to throw. Throws into the middle of the field. It's caught. Salaroni is to the Utah 35-yard line. 96 yards in this third quarter. Only missed once. And that was that one. Boyd was covering on the play. Here's Walsh. The blitz is on. He dances around, throws, completes it. Nice diving catch at the 26-yard line by Steve Christensen. Close to first down yardage. And the pressure was really coming. Utah all over Walsh. Somehow he gets it off. And I'll tell you what, if Christensen can catch it in stride, it's a touchdown. Man coverage, and there wasn't anybody there. But Christensen with a good effort, third and short. Game tied, 17-17. They're coming after him. He gets the pass. Intercepted by Utah. Back to the 30, to the 40, and out of bounds at the 50-yard line. Now a flag goes down, but it's after the play. Well, Utah have the football, but look at this pick here. This is an outstanding job. Boy, I tell you, Boyd has a nose for the fo uh, football. Here's Christensen, and uh, the Utah bench felt that this was a little unnecessary. Back to pass on first down. Does pass. Intercepted! Intercepted by DeMooney of BYU. DeMooney stepped right in front of Darren Claiborne and picked off his second interception of the game. One more time, by my count, Jay, this is the eighth turnover between the two ball clubs this year. You know, that was a tough chance. Yeah, it really was. That wasn't I, thrown right to him. And it's kind of interesting, two uh, defenses that have struggled. From the shotgun. Here's Walsh to throw. Sets up. Oh, he's got it again. It was tipped back to him. He throws it again, and it's caught by Nowatsky. No, that doesn't work. <laughs> that, you can't do that. <laughs> Flag goes down. It's a lot the of fun. But... You can only have one forward pass during the down. That was the second forward pass. Five-yard penalty from the spot of the pass. Lost it down. Sounds like a top Third sergeant. Down. We got to see that one again, don't we? Oh, there it is. Now, Walsh gets this thing batted right back to him, and he threw it hard. Boom. Lucky guy didn't break his finger. Picks it up. Says, I'll try it again. Well, he gets a reception, I guess, then. <laughs> Lane Berger. <laughs> yeah. Lane Berger tipped it. B9. And out of the shotgun. And here is Walsh looking to pass. Sets up and throws. Completes it. Completes it up to the 42-yard line. They gain back the yardage they lost on the penalty. This is the Blue and White Sports Network. Jay Watson, Herb Brown, and Holly Rowe. And there's the uh, numbers. First downs, BYU now two more first downs. But Utah still more yardage in the game. A lot of turnovers in the game. They attend these basic games, these important games, and they get one of the uh, local Heisman uh, recipients. I live in Phoenix, so I was the closest guy. Ty's busy. We'll throw back upstairs. I hear there's something happening. Boy, did Utah come up with a big play. They threw it down the middle of the field. And they've got a score. They go the length of the field as they flipped it to Curtis March, and he outran everybody. And Utah suddenly grabs the lead right back, 23 to 17. And it gives them the lead back as Jurgensen extra point. No good. It hit the crossbar, came That's back onto the ball. field. And yeah, it's a live football. Everybody going after it. Again, this is one of those little bounce. Roll around a bit. It's fumbled a bit. Now it's picked up to the 20, to the 25, to the 30, to the 35, to the 40. And out of bounds at the 48-yard line is Tim Nowatsky. Seven-yard line. Here's the quick toss to the right side. That's Kalen Hall. Kalen with some running room. Runs it to the 45-yard line of the University of Utah. That's an eight-yard game. Manny Hall. <laughs> running play up the middle. Kalen Hall has got the first down. He ran it all the way to the U left. Walsh gives him the draw to Hey Mooley. Hey Mooley's got some running room. Wow, he put his head down, was not knocked down. Well, he knocked kept down going. everybody. Yeah. He makes it to the 31 yard, the lone setback. Quick pass. It's caught on the left flat. It's enough for the first down. It's the bump coverage and then the touchdown pass to Marsh. There's the toss. That's Kanan Hall. He's got some room. Inside the 20, stumbles his way to the 17. Back the other way. And they give it on a draw. Never do get, up, get it in the way this time. And they're 3 out of 12 in third downs. Walsh passes. It's caught by Tyler Anderson. Tyler to the 10. Spun out of bounds at the 8-yard line. It's a first down throw. So 
Hamuli starts in motion. They'll pitch it to Hall. Hall cuts into the middle, stumbles, and dives over the five to the three yard line. Nice run by Kalen. Walsh a delayed handoff to Kalen Hall. Broke the tackle and scored. Kalen ties it up for BYU. Point. Looks good. It is good. So for the first time in the game, Brigham Young University has the lead as Joe Herrick kicks his 40th extra point of the season. And it is now BYU 24, Utah 23 with 10 minutes to play. Sensation. Most of it on the scramble. First down call. He'll throw on first down. He's flushed out of the pocket, but he's going to make eight yards out of it. Ahead by one point. McCoy to throw again. Sets up, throws, drills it. In the middle of the field, it's caught by Marsh to the 39 yard. No, but he's going to throw again. Does throw. I don't know if he caught that one or not. If he did, it's down for a loss. McCoy back to throw. Into the middle. Nice catch at the 45 yard line of lots of noise. McCoy wants to throw. McCoy does throw. Nice catch. It looked like BYU had it picked up. And a nice catch. By They'll run it on this one. That's Anderson. Anderson ganged up on it. The BYU 38 yard line. Here's McCoy. Gives to Anderson. Anderson with lots of room this time. He's to the 31 yard line. That's a first down run. Has the snap. Cougars are coming after him. Throws it quickly. And completes it to the 26 yard line. Here's the snap. Here's the pass. Complete to the BYU 15 yard line. It's a first down throw. So the Utes come up with the one they need to Darren Claiborne. McCoy gives to Anderson. Anderson pulls his way inside the 10. He's down to the eight yard line. Well, he has a second and five call now on the BYU nine. They'll run it with Anderson. He drops the football, but I, I think he got it back himself. Oh, holy. About a yard and a half for a first down on the BYU five and a half yard line. It's Anderson. They stack him up, but I think he has the first down. It's a pitch to Anderson to the right. He scores! University of Utah gets the touchdown from Jamal Anderson. McCoy's going to throw for the two. Being chased, swings it over to Anderson. Can they stop him? No! He powered it in for the two-point conversion. So when it looked like BYU had the advantage, now it's back to a seven-point lead. University of Utah, boy, they came to play today against favorite BYU. Cougars were a seven-point favorite, and the University of Utah has a seven-point lead now as that last drive. Five minutes and 27 seconds and a good, solid drive. Anderson will field it at the 15, to the 20, to the 25. Cuts into the middle, to the 30. Knocked down at the 37-yard line. So Brigham Young University from the shotgun. Nowatsky goes in motion. Walsh back to pass. Walsh does pass right over the middle, caught by Hamuli. Hamuli goes wide to the left and reaches the 50 yard line before he's tackled. It's a first down throw in the fourth period. Shotgun again, BYU 50 yards away. Walsh throws it deep downfield. He caught it, but he was out of bounds. Go. Some people call it uh, the up and, and whatever. And unfortunately, he steps on the line because they really set this thing up effectively. Good fake by Walsh. Drage is in there. Third down for BYU. That Drage is in the game right now for the Cougars. Or second down. I said third. Second down and ten. Here's Walsh. Runs into the middle of the field. Flips it to Hay Moody again. Hay Moody to the 40 to the 35. Knocked down at the 30-yard line. A big first down throw again. Look at Walsh. He's closing in on 400. Cora already has it. First and ten, Brigham Young from the shotgun. Walsh to pass again. Shoots it downfield. It's caught by Tyler Anderson. He's down at the one-yard line. The ball was fumbled into the end zone. Now, who are they giving it to? 
30 left to go. Jay, look at this pass. You talk about a gutty pass by Walsh in the middle of the field. That's where the picks come. Beware of the dog. Stay out of the middle. He ain't afraid of anybody. Oh, what a lick. So BYU, one more time before we uh, pick up the live action. Walsh with a just a bullet right there, and it had to be between two good defenders. So they got it first and goal, and John Walsh dives in. He's got it. That's his second score of the game, and the Cougars are within a point. Watsky holding. He's got it. It's placed down. And it is good. Boy, they gave it a long look. But it's, we've got a 31-31 tie. Votes for uh, WAC Player of the Week again this week. Well, he was not WAC Player of the Week. He was Sports Illustrated's National Player of the Week, however. And he's got some great numbers, as you just saw. They'll pitch it to Anderson. Anderson turns it around the right side, staggers down at the 26-yard line. Second down and four. McCoy to throw. Swings it over the right side. It's caught by Anderson. Coming out of the backfield, tackled right at the 30-yard line. That should be a first down. It's Anderson. Anderson booms his way to the 35-yard line. He's got the first down. McCoy straight back to pass. Fires downfield, completes it to the BYU 48-yard line. That's Hooks. That's Greg Hooks who made the catch at first and 10 Utah. McCoy back to pass again. There's the little swing over to Anderson. He's got a lot of room this time. And he's down to the BYU 38-yard line. Gives to Anderson. Anderson slides off the right side, and I think he's got it. McCoy fires incomplete down and 10. McCoy being chased, hit as he throws the football, and it's incomplete. He just threw that one away. Lots of noise from the crowd. He's got the snap. Pressure's on. Fires knocked down at the line of scrimmage by a BYU lineman. That makes it fourth and 10. Yeah, it's from the 45. That's a 55-yard field goal attempt. His long for the year is 51. Keep in mind, a blocked field goal is in play. It's not impossible. I've seen it happen a lot for a long one. Lots of distance. I'll tell you what. He made it! What a he kick. made it! The University of Utah's Jurgensen has just kicked a 55-yard field goal with 25 seconds to play. Unbelievable! Well, he should. Man, that was just a great kick. Okay, here's BYU then, 80 yards away. Walsh from the shotgun. Now, once again, four DBs are 20 yards deep. It's all in the middle of the field, trying to get between the coverage. Completes it to Matsuzaki at the 35, and we got 20 seconds to go. That's a first down. Back seven yards, the DBs are back 20. Eric? And there's the throw. It's incomplete this time. Oh, Cushion, left three, side. Only a three-man rush. Into the middle field, it's incomplete. Threw it in back of Steve Christensen. Here's Walsh. Throws in the middle of the field. Incomplete. Tried to hit Tyler Anderson. To do. Now, there's only seven seconds. If you throw it uh, to the sideline, it's going to be a real long field goal attempt. Walsh out of the pocket, sets up and fires downfield. And it'll be intercepted. That's the game. Intercepted. Intercepted by the University of Utah. And that ends the football game as the Utes have won for the first time since 1971 here in Provo. They upset Brigham Young University by a score of 34 to 31 in a close one. A big win for the University of Utah team to go five and three on this season in league play seven and five overall and they're in the running for a bowl game now that's it Utah wins at 34 31.